A class action lawsuit against GM? No freaking way! Today's video is brought to you by Lethal Garage Flex Fuel Kits. Looking to pick up a little more power or be able to run the flexibility of E85 or pump gas? Check out our kits. The kits are custom made with all GM parts and a custom harness from Gen 5 DIY. We also include free priority shipping and a fuel line disconnect tool for those of you who want to take this DIY project to install the kit at home. Check it out at lethalgarage.com. Details in the description below. What's going on guys, Metaver here, Lethal Garage, and today we got news of a class action lawsuit filed against GM. If you guys want direct information, I'm putting all the links down in the description below, but this has to do with what has previously been known as a hot start issue. I've talked about this long ago. My car even had a fail starter issue, but the class action is basically titling that GM knowingly sold 2010 to present Camaro. So basically every single Camaro out there, uh, that is new, late model, 50, or 2010 to newer, uh, with starter problems or starters that are not protected well enough by heat shielding to stop heat soak that in turn causes the vehicle to not start properly. Uh, there's a lot of little details there, I'm not gonna get into it, but overall there is a lawsuit finally filed over this issue. As you guys recall, my car had an issue with the starter but that was after I installed aftermarket headers, not with the factory setup. Now the fifth gen owners, and I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there that have been following my channel and hopefully you'll see this video, especially guys who go to the track have had this hot start problem. It's actually been widely known. It's actually an issue that gen five DIY addressed by adding a beefier ground wire from the motor to the chassis of the actual vehicle to eliminate the hot start problem. And it actually worked. It eliminated the people's problems. So to explain that a little bit, basically the starter heat soaks. And when you go to the track and you're running the car for 20, 30 minute sessions, stuff like that, you're putting a lot more heat into the vehicle in a lot more strenuous situations than you would just cruising to work driving in traffic, anything like that. That being stated, track guys have kind of accepted the fact that beating the heck out of their cars can in turn cause problems. Well, this hot start problem was not something anybody should have ever had to deal with. If the, the starter had proper heat shielding or additional heat shielding added, it typically should resolve the issue, but I know Gen 5 DIY created a wire basically an upgraded ground from the bell housing to the frame and it eliminated a lot of the fifth gen issues and i've heard some guys use it on six gens and also eliminate issues that way now i'm not entirely sure how many modern day camaros that are v6 or the newer ones the i4s are having this problem it seems to mostly be prevalent and i could be wrong and uh, apologies here if you have a V6 or an i4 car that has had this issue. I'm not trying to say you're not having issues, but I just, I haven't seen or heard from people having these problems, but it typically stems from the SS that is making more power, more heat, and the headers or the manifolds, if they didn't change out the headers, sit literally right next to the starter. So the starter is just underneath, was it the passenger side, lower left corner, I'm like, over here, when I rebuilt my motor, I actually broke my new starter that I replaced. Long story short, but this, the, I'm, I'm deviating. But this lawsuit, it's been filed in uh, Delaware, I believe. I don't think you have to sign up for it or anything like that, but it's one of those things that if you've ever had a hot, like hot start issues or you've ever had problems with your starter, this may be a lawsuit that comes into play where if one GM will be required to, who knows, potentially fix the issues that people have had. If you've had to buy a starter to replace an issue or they had to do warranty work and didn't actually honor the warranty and blamed you, you may be entitled for, you know, reprieve, payment back, or I don't know. I don't know, I, we don't know, but we do know that it's a class action lawsuit, it's been filed, it's against GM, and if one, there could be some good things going to Camaro owners that have suffered through this. So, uh, I know in my instance, my problem had to do with aftermarket long tube headers, so I can't blame GM for that because my car was no longer GM spec. Uh, it sucks though, because if this is a problem, I don't know how this, 
I don't know if it would even apply to me because my starter did die because it got cooked. It just got way too hot. There wasn't enough shielding. Now we beefed up the shielding around mine and it resolved the problem and yay. But for those of you out there who are having a problem, I'd love to hear about it. So supposedly it only happens in hot summer days or when it's really hot out or when you do long drives. Again, a lot of the track guys see this right away because they're pushing their car to the limits and they're finding out very quickly this hot start problem. And it's very prevalent on the fifth gen, especially the 1LE guys who track the living heck out of their cars. I also have heard about it again with the sixth gen guys, but if you guys have ran into this problem, I'd love to know the situation. Again, I'm gonna put all the links down below. Again, I, this isn't something that you have to sign up for or be like, yes, this is happening to me. They already have all the information. They filed a 40 page lawsuit against GM. It's to court, so now it just has to be seen, heard, and find out if they win or not. If they win, then I'll follow up with a video and they'll, you know, hopefully we'll have information on what GM has to do, if anything, if, if they win and if GM wins the suit, then nothing happens and we have to go back to Gen 5 DIY and get their better grounding wire that seems to resolve the issues for a lot of people. So yeah, that's it. That's all, that's what's going on. So again, check, thanks for checking out the video, but if you're having this problem or you've had this problem, having had, <laughs> I'm all over the place today. Uh, post down below in the description, where where were you at when it happened? Were you on the track? Were you just driving to a friend's house? Was it a vacation? Was, would, is it a V8? Is it a V6? Is it an I4? I'd love to know the situation, the car make model, etc. I'm sure a lot of other people would love to know as well. Uh, is this a reason to maybe go out and not buy a Camaro? I don't think so. Uh, there's plenty of people driving their cars without issues, no problems. Uh, but it is one of those things that GM is saying, no, we don't, we don't believe there's a problem. And therefore someone's like, well, we believe that you knew about it and maybe they have proof that they knew about it. I don't know. I don't know all the details. So uh, in regards to how they're gonna uphold their proof, cause they're literally saying GM knew these were faulty and sold the car anyways, without telling the customers that they would have issues down the road. Yeah, either or. So that's the news today. Lawsuits against GM. I don't think there's anything new there. There's quite a few of them all the time. It's pretty crazy. Their lawyer team is pretty busy all the time. And if they're found guilty, I mean, that's that sucks. But I'm not gonna hold judgment. I'll wait until we hear exactly how it's ruled. So either or, thanks for checking out the video. Hit that subscribe for more content around Camaro stuff, Camaro builds, second gen builds well underway. Uh, yeah, that's all we got. So until next time guys, see you on the road.